Welcome to Monday Night Rumble of the Discourse. We've taken an abandoned concrete factory at the margins of the declining American empire and repurposed it into a battleground where 19 separate entities from across the political spectrum enter the discourse one by one and do battle to determine who controls the narrative force of the discourse. I hope you'll join me, your Southern Gothic futurist host, Dirt God Raven Mac, for each and every episode of Monday Night Rumble of the Discord. The rules are simple. Two people begin entering the ring of our discourse, and another person enters every minute thereafter. At any point during the rumble when a competitor is thrown over the top rope to the floor surrounding the ring, or submits to or gets pinned by an opponent in the rumble, they are eliminated. Once all 19 people have entered the fray, our Monday Night Rumble continues until all but one has been eliminated. That person is declared the winner of the discourse. Monday Night Monday Rumble Night of the Discord. What's going on, folks? This is your host, Dirt God Raven Mac. Monday Night Rumble of the Discourse. We are having a seven week series here this fall. This is week two. Um, 27 people involved in the Discourse compete. We have two at the opening bell. One comes in every minute. You can be eliminated by getting tossed, pinned, or made to submit. Um, if you do that to somebody, you get one point for eliminating somebody. Um, that's how we accumulate points over these six weeks. Um, f- top four people, final four, and that's luck of the draw a lot of times. Um, they get bonus points. Uh, competitors will be adding these points up over the weeks. Um, last week, uh, President Biden won. Uh, he is currently at the top of the points table with 12 points um dr oz and john fetterman the two candidates for pennsylvania senator tied at nine and second um so that is how this works that is how this will work uh so let's go ahead and go up to the ring um and it looks like our referees tonight are going to be the verified blue check that new york times op-ed writer and the super blue check another big writer and coming out first is Tulsi Gabbard. So Tulsi Gabbard, the um, congresswoman from Hawaii who resigned from the Democratic Party this past week. Uh, you know, proof that um, not only men can fall down the wrong rabbit holes. She's gotten progressively more out there. And President Biden, he won last week. Um, I heard Biden backstage before the event. He told me, um, he said, I don't mind coming out early. I'm going to run the table, Bubba. So President Biden feeling himself, feeling confident. He's going to open up against Tulsi Gabbard, who just resigned from the Democratic Party. So we will see what sort of action goes on. And Biden's right in on her immediately. And he's going for a quick pin there. And just a one count. That's a little too early on a pin. Gabbard with a knee to the president's head. And they lock up. And of course, Verified Blue Check just got knocked down. He's holding one of those briefcases. We have seven ladders around the ring, which symbolize the meritocracy myth. Um, and then there's a load of briefcases filled with lobbyist money. Biden's on that top rope. That's a dangerous place to be. And he misses Gabbard, and then she misses with a leg drop. Verified Blue Check just falls off the ladder over there himself. We get a buzzer. And our next competitor, Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Not a good week for Alex Jones. Nearly a billion dollar settlement uh, for family members of the Sandy Hook shooting um, victims. Uh, Nearly a billion dollars. Likely bankrupting Alex Jones. But you never know how those things actually work. People always weasel their way out of it. But hopefully that that is... uh, uh, a strike against people cloaking misinformation behind free speech. Um, you can't just 
make crazy shit up, although I guess you can, because that's exactly what happens most of the time. Super blue check, climbing that ladder for some reason and falls, and we got a buzzer, and that's Nuri Martinez. Nuri Martinez, Los Angeles City Councilwoman who uh, was forced to resign over some remarks that came to light from over a year ago, actually, some racist remarks. Um, and there's a pin. Alex Jones almost goes for the pin on Nuri Martinez. So she is in the discourse tonight, has entered early, um, entered early, and has entered the discourse often this past week. And Alex Jones just power slams Nuri Martinez, and Tulsi Gabbard's still in there. And Alex Jones just nails Tulsi Gabbard as well. Biden's trying to go, go with it, and he drops Gabbard for a pin. Just a one count. And we have a buzzer, and here comes Big John Fetterman. He had a good showing last week, finished in the Final Four, and he is here this week. He was heavily in the discourse this past week, had a TV interview where he was using closed captioning to understand the questions being given to him, and that, of course, unleashed a barrage of people saying he wasn't fit to be in office because there's really no other way to justify him not beating Dr. Oz. Um, Dr. Oz is a horrible candidate, and Big John is definitely... Yeah, I hate to use the term populist, but he kind of fits it. And there's a pin. Nuri Martinez with a two count from Alex Jones, and he goes for it again, and Fetterman just drops her. Leg drop across Nuri Martinez, and here comes Dr. Oz. So the other, the other, other key figure in that Pennsylvania Senate race is coming out now. Dr. Oz, so we have a Tulsi Gabbard, President Biden still in there, Alex Jones, L.A. City Councilwoman Nuri Martinez, and John Fetterman and Dr. Oz. And I understand we might have a have an all Senate, all Senate rumble next week. Is what I'm hearing. Is that right, Bob? Is that next week? Okay. So, so that's that's my producer Bob Dabalina in my ear. Um, and we're going to get a buzzer here again. Oh, there's a pin attempt on Nuri Martinez. And President Biden eliminates Nuri Martinez. So she is eliminated. And here is J.D. Vance. Are you kidding me? I can't stand J.D. Vance. He is the opposite of Dirt God Raven Mac in every way. And in fact, is he wearing Scottish tartan tights? Are you kidding me? You know what? Fuck this. Bob, Bob I'm leaving the booth.
Okay, folks, um, I'm back, back in the booth. Sorry about that. Now here comes Lauren Bober um, to the ring and Tulsi Gabbard she got pinned there. I did not see who pinned her. Sorry, I, uh, I, I try to not get involved in the discourse directly, um, but I did. JD Vance is too much for me. Um, I went out there and inserted myself into the discourse, and unfortunately, it was not a good showing. Dr. Oz tossed me, and JD Vance is still out there, and I can't stand that guy. Um, looks like we have, well, speaking of Senate, we have three Senate hopefuls John Fetterman, JD Vance, Dr. Oz, actual Senator Kirsten Cinema, um, who I got a little power slam on before I came back down the aisle. I'm sure if you saw that, um, she smells like rose water. I don't know, something about that just kind of triggered me. Um, and here comes Marjorie Taylor Greene, and Dr. Oz got pinned there in the ring. I did not see who pinned him, but Dr. Oz is now eliminated. Um, Bob, we do have somebody to keep the track of. Go, okay, so uh, Bob Dabalina tells me that somebody is going back and checking replays for make sure we have proper credit for who eliminates folks. And J.D. Vance just drops Lauren Boebert right on top of Marjorie Taylor Greene, who goes for a pin, kicks out at two. Somebody please beat J.D. Vance. Hillbilly Elegy author, um, not Appalachian, Harvard-educated rich dude from Ohio. Come on, man. Get this guy. And here comes Herschel Walker carrying that football trophy um, in that Georgia Senate race. Uh, it's incredibly close. Um, I mean, it sort of shows just how broken the two-party system is. And Kirsten Cinema got pinned in there. So she is eliminated. Herschel Walker knocked over the top rope by Lauren Boebert, but he is gets back in. But that Warnock and Walker are, are neck and neck, and really Warnock's done nothing to Warren. Being neck and neck with some of the quality of candidate that Herschel Walker is, but it doesn't really matter. It's it's what team you're voting for at this point. And the two teams won't let any other teams play, so that's all we get. And we got a buzzer, and here comes the Twitter communist now. Twitter communist, and he gets a kick on Dr. Oz there, but Dr. Oz just slams him. Twitter communist not doing so well there against Dr. Oz, who's still in the aisle. So Twitter communist jumps into the ring. Looks like we have six folks in there right now, although Bobert's going for a pin on J.D. Vance, and thank goodness J.D. Vance is eliminated, so... I did not get to do it as I wanted to, but um, at least he's out of there. And there's a pin attempt on Marjorie Taylor Greene by the Twitter communist. Just a two count. Herschel Walker and Fetterman going there. That's two big boys right there. And here comes the Proud Boy. The Proud Boy back at it. In the news is the J6 committee found out that the Proud Boys were hoping to cause a lot more damage than what was done on January 6th. Um, they're not good people. I don't know why people think otherwise. They're basically just violent assholes. In fact, they've been showing up at a lot of um, drag shows, a lot of protesting, so-called grooming happening for the children, which is, I don't know, what a, what a sad state of affairs. And I hate to even say critical thinking because these are people who say critical thinking are full of shit at this point. Fetterman flips Walker and is going for a pin there, and here comes Ron DeSantis. Florida governor, and he, he's wearing those big white boots, folks. He's got those big white boots that he wore after Hurricane Ian. I guess those are I guess those are Ron's lucky boots now. Um, big Ron's out there with those white boots looking to cause some damage. And it looks like Lauren Boebert and MTG are over in the corner. And Herschel Walker over the top rope, as is Lauren Boebert. And they're both eliminated, and someone else was eliminated, too. And then Twitter communists got pinned, so we've got Fetterman got tossed, so I don't even know who's left. Who's actually left in here? Looks like the Proud Boy and Ron DeSantis survived that flurry of four or five eliminations right back to back to back. And here comes the police state. He was one of our referees last week, the 
police state and the lady cop. This week we have the uh, establishment more reffing this thing with verified blue check and a super blue check. There's blue check riders in the police state going right after the proud boy. You don't see that often. And Ron DeSantis. So we have a the com the discourse right now. The rumble of the discourse is leaning hard right. Three of them are going at it. There's a one count on the police state by Ron DeSantis. Proud Boy and the police state are going at it again. You do not usually see that. And we get a buzzer. And it's AOC coming out. AOC. So maybe a, a different voice to balance what's in the discourse right now. AOC taking her time getting in the ring. And I can't say I blame her. And the Proud Boy just got tossed by the I believe the police state tossed him, and now police state is beating up on Ron DeSantis, and AOC gets involved, and police state going for a pin on Ron DeSantis. Just a two count. So we've got three folks in the ring. I'm not quite sure how many we have left to come out. Police state tried to set that ladder back up. And then gets tossed by Ron DeSantis, thrown over the top rope. So the police state is gone. They're coming to the ring. I heard a buzzer, but I haven't seen any. Here's Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson, he takes a swipe at the Proud Boy there. Nile nah, in there. Tucker Carlson tosses him aside. Police state climbing a ladder outside the ring while AOC and Ron DeSantis are rolling around hurting each other. You got to figure. Tucker Carlson's going to jump right in there on AOC. And yeah, and she rolls him up though. Going for the quick pin on Tucker Carlson. Ron DeSantis just nails AOC with one of those lobbyist briefcase. And DeSantis just tosses AOC right out the ring so she is gone. And now we have another buzzer. So Ron DeSantis and Tucker Carlson are joined by Kanye West. Kanye was part of the discourse last week, re-enters this week, sort of blew up, made a bunch of anti-Semitic comments, um, and he's going for a pin on Ron DeSantis right away. Only a two count over the top rope, but Kanye out. No, he gets back in. So Kanye, and you know, there's talk that you know he's off his meds, so to speak, but he said some just unhinged things and just gotten worse and worse. You can't really blame him just on meds. I mean, the, a lot of times with mental illness, it just magnifies the person that's underneath a lot of times. So if you're uh, uh, not that good a person underneath, the mental health just makes it worse. Um, if you're a good person, it's hard to deal with, but it magnifies that. And here comes Elon Musk. Elon Musk is now coming out and looks like he's wearing a Twitter blue shirt. So I guess he's thinking about this purchase that he may or may not do to avoid further exposure of his inner workings. Um, Elon just came out in support of Putin this week. I'm not really sure. Threatened the Starlink satellites getting shut down over Ukraine, which he famously hooked up all of a sudden. And just personifies the trouble of, of a oligarch or a billionaire criminal billionaire criminal and all billionaires are criminals uh, and the worst type of criminal actually because a normal criminal just breaks the law but a billionaire bends the law to fit the wrongdoings that they do so they're even worse and here comes the do your own research that's a podcaster once and still joe joe rogan fan um, now has his own podcast, which hardly anybody listens to, which he, of course, blames on being shadow banned because he's speaking the truth. He does his own research. Um, doesn't believe vaccines are, are worthwhile for COVID. Uh, the, believes a lot of crazy things that he has done his own research to get to. And I'm not really quite sure what that means. I'm not sure these people have labs. I think doing your own research a lot of times just means watching YouTube too long late at night. And we got a buzzer. And here comes that critical thinking punk. Critical thinking punk. Proud punk rocker. Libertarian. It was quick to remind everybody this week that Blink-182 is not actual punk rock. Um, very adamant about that on social media. So we are after we had that flurry of eliminations, but we're back up to six people in there. Yeah, six people. Let's see, I got Tucker Carlson, critical thinking punk Elon Musk, 
Ron DeSantis is still out there, Kanye West, and to do your own research. But to do your own research, or just to two count on Kanye, he's doing a weird bridge in there. And we've got a buzzer. And Nancy Pelosi, Speaker of the House, also came to light this week with the J6 committee. The footage of Nancy Pelosi reaching out to the governor of Virginia, trying to get the National Guard in D.C. that day. What a chaotic day. And there's a pin. Kanye West actually eliminates Ron DeSantis. And Critical Thinking Punk gets eliminated. So that was a quick loss for the Critical Thinking Punk. And I think Nancy Pelosi actually got the pin there. So we've got Tucker Carlson, who just drops to do your own research. Or Elon Musk, Kanye West is still in there. Nancy Pelosi hiding out in the corner. And then we get a buzzer. And it's Senator Ted Cruz. Senator Ted Cruz, one of the most malleable people. And Tucker Carlson got pinned in there by someone. So Tucker Carlson's out. Ted Cruz just has zero soul left. Like, we'll just bend his own to, to fit whatever needs to be fitted to feel. He's just a wretched, just superficial person. And Nancy Pelosi's bloodied up, but she still drops Ted Cruz across that ladder. Kanye West is bloodied up. The discourse is bloodying folks up this week, folks. I think, Bob, I mean, we got two people left coming, so we have two folks left to come out here. 25 have come out already. Five still in the ring and joining them. I recognize that music from the southern part of Facebook stand. It is the Reply Guy. So the Reply Guy is going to be coming out here and joining the fracas. Joining the melee. And once again, the final four people will get bonus points moving into our um, first six weeks of the series. In the seventh week, everybody will come out who had top 27 point getters. And there's a pin there on Reply Guy. Pins Kanye West. So Reply Guy, perhaps not a fan of Kanye West, gets him out of there. You know, the black guys are pretty notoriously racist, but they like to blame other people for racism. And here comes Donald Trump in that American flag clothing that he's wrapped himself in. He is our last entrance, and he has a few words there with Kanye in the aisle. So we have Elon Musk, and Elon Musk, yeah, Elon Musk, Donald Trump just drops Elon Musk to do your own research or reply guy Nancy Pelosi and Ted Cruz. And you can take Elon Musk off the list because he just got pinned. So we are down to five. Reply guy Sam Nancy Pelosi. Trump falls off that ladder for some reason. I'd like to point out Ted Cruz's beard, which J.D. Vance also has. And where I live here in Virginia, Jerry Falwell Jr. also has that as the, the conservative Christian swinger beard. Um, those guys are definitely all swinging. If anybody's grooming somebody, it's those guys. Donald Trump going for a pin on Nancy Pelosi. Just a one count. So Donald Trump, Ted Cruz, do your own research or reply guy Nancy Pelosi. Man, she has got her work cut out for her in there. And Trump and Cruz going at it. And do your own research or over the top rope. He has not fallen, but he's on that edge. And he's down. He's out. And Trump gets tossed over by Cruz, but does not hit the ground. And Trump's back in. So we're down to our final four. These four will get bonus points. Three. Next person eliminated will get three bonus points. And then we'll have five for third, seven for second, and ten for first. And Trump just falls. The reply guy going after Trump. Pelosi is looking really beat up in there. Cruz crawling on hands and knees. And there's a pin on Reply Guy. So Ted Cruz eliminates Reply Guy. So Reply Guy gets the three bonus points but is eliminated. Now it's Donald Trump, Senator Ted Cruz, and Representative Nancy Pelosi, Speaker of the House. Midterm elections on everybody's mind. I'm sure on all these folks' mind too. Pelosi and Cruz, or Cruz gets a shot on her there. She gets thrown into the verified blue check who takes some shots at her. I don't know what that's all about. Cruz and Trump going at it. So 
So these are our final three. The black guy fighting with Super Blue Check over there in the corner. Not uncommon for the Super for the black guy to be arguing with the Blue Checks. Verified Blue Check finally gets him out the ring. Trump just nails Pelosi with that two by four, but still only gets a two count. Pelosi wants to set up that ladder. She's having some trouble getting it. She gets it set up, but then gets knocked over the top. Hadn't gone to the floor yet. Can she get back in? She's back in, and Trump gets a one count on Cruz. So Pelosi survived a possible elimination there. We're almost at the 30-minute mark here, folks. Cruz stomping on Pelosi and then going back after Trump. Pelosi on that top rope. Dangerous place to be. Trump rolls Cruz up but can't hold him for the pin and Pelosi just nails Trump in the back with that 2 by 4 and sets the ladder up again. Oh, and Trump just nails her. Just rams her into that ladder and that's got to be a 3 count. Yeah, Pelosi, Nancy Pelosi just speared into that ladder by Donald Trump. Cruz gets an elbow on her and then Pelosi kicks Cruz. Cruz looks hurt in there and Pelosi's going at him again. And he falls on that ladder, and Trump falls right on him for the pin. And that's a win, Donald Trump, folks. Donald Trump got the win over Ted Cruz. And he's mocking the blue checks now as he's won. So pre our former president, Donald Trump, gets our win. Can let's see that replay, and you can see that Pelosi is eliminated, um, locks up with Cruz, who appears to be hurt, and he falls onto that ladder and Trump just climbs right on top to get the win big win for Trump so you can see our tonight's results with the bonus points Donald Trump picked up 12 points tonight Ted Cruz got eight Nancy Pelosi and Fetterman got six Fetterman Fetterman eliminated six guys tonight reply guy got five and then our totals after two events John Fetterman at the top with 15 points Biden and Trump Second with 13, Dr. Oz at 10, Ted Cruz at 8, and you can see we have other folks there with 6 points, and then big drop off down to 3 points, and that's where we are. Well, that is our second week of our 7-week series, Monday Night Rumble to the Discourse. As always, folks, this is supported by my Southern Gothic Futurist Patreon. You can uh, click the link in the description of the video to um, support that Patreon. I don't really support the Monday Night Rumble of the Discourse. I'll be doing a football metaphysics of the World Cup preview. Um, I do a lot of a lot of different weird things on there. Uh, it's sort of the whole essence of Raven Mac. Uh, but this is supported by that Patreon. So I appreciate all my Patreon supporters out there. Thank you very much. And we will be back hopefully next week with our third week of the seven week fall 2022 series. And next week is tentatively going to be an all senatorial showdown rumble of the discourse. So uh, until next week, uh, Salam.